Hey guys, how's it going? Ruben here from the Midnight Garage. So today I am going to hook up the radio on the Honda City because I've been driving around with it for quite some while and I don't have a radio and that's quite annoying. So let's do that. Now the problem is with the radio currently is that it doesn't work. There's a radio in it but the wiring is all messed up and I have to redo everything. And there used to be a plug in it, an original plug. And if you're smart, usually people just get a conversion plug and convert it from the original plug to an ISO plug. But the previous, previous owner, I don't know who did it, they kind of messed it up and they soldered everything together and now it's a big mess and it ends up with two ISO plugs. So that's what I'm going to keep. I usually would prefer to keep the original plug, but I'm not going to put an original radio in here probably ever. So two ISO plugs is good enough. I will post some links to um, wiring pinouts down below if you want to check it out and if you want to use it for yourself and basically how it works is you get two colors and you mix and match them and that's pretty much it here we have how it currently looks this still looks pretty much okay but as soon as we move on to the part that's actually connected to all the other things it uh, well does not there's some stuff here which i have no idea what's going on here there are several things taped together here there's just some copper wire sticking out so it's it's not really very confusing that it doesn't work if you're going to hook up the radio yourself and you don't know how to do it i'll give you a quick summary first you have a constant 12 volt that's to save all the data that's in the radio for example the radio stations you have saved you need a constant ground obviously I don't know why I'm calling it a constant ground, but you need a ground point. You need something to have it in the second position, because if you have it in the second position, the radio will turn on. And you will need a wire that's hooked up to the lights. You don't need that, but if you have the wire hooked up to your lights, then the radio will dim itself. And then you need, like for example, two wires going to front left, two wires going to the front right speaker and the rear if you have those and that's pretty much how you hook up a radio it's pretty easy well i figured out that here was the original plug there was another sort of i don't know aftermarket iso plug going all the way to here going to a regular iso plug and they've pretty much messed everything up so that's most likely the reason why my radio isn't working so i will connect up the basic wire so i'll power everything up and then i will see if the radio works now it's time for me to solder everything up. I will not go into detail on how to do that. There's a separate video on how to solder. If you're interested in that, I will post a link on it below and you can check it out there. First up, I need to check if the ground is any good. So I'll do that to check the ground. I'm holding it to the ground wire and I will hold the other one to the chassis. And if it's correct, there should be a beep. Do you hear that? Perfect. Second one done. The radio now also has a switched power. Now I only have to get the constant power. A few moments later. I've now also found the constant 12 volt wire and the illumination wire. So I've hooked it up back on the radio. And in theory, if I turn the ignition, the radio should come on. A very exciting moment. Ta-da. Perfect. Now that I know the radio is working, now I need to hook up the speakers. If you just bought the car and you don't know anything about the car, the first thing to check is to check if you actually have speakers. I've made the mistake a couple of times before. <laughs> and, yeah. Yeah. and it was pretty dumb. I checked out all the wiring and turned out there were no speakers in it. So check that first. If you know it, then you don't have to check it, obviously. Make sure that the speakers are connected and hooked up properly and once that's done you just hook up two wires now you have front left going towards the speaker and then back to the radio and that's pretty much it all right well i found the wires for the front left and front right speakers hook that up and those are the only two speakers in the car so now it's time for me to test out how it works now i'm pretty sure you guys are tired of this royalty free song so let's turn that off for a moment and and now it's time to check out if there's actually some sound coming off the radio it's an auxiliary mode ah oh, it's the same royalty free song sorry case i know you hate the song by now but uh yeah it works perfect 
great success. Now I just need to hook. I'll turn it off for a moment. I just need to hook everything up again. And once it hooks up, I can reinstall the radio. And I'm done. That's everything there was to it. And now that I've cleaned up everything, I can enjoy my nice little radio. Now, I personally prefer something a bit more old school, and I'll probably switch it out later on. But for now, it's good enough because it's better than having no radio. Well, that's it for today, guys. I hope you liked it. Uh, now you can hook up your own radio. Um, the next video regarding the Honda City is most likely going to be the battery relocation. I think I've been hinting to it ever since the wiretap video. And that's quite a long while ago. I think it's about two months ago. And people were still contacting me like, when are you going to do the battery relocation video? So expect that soon. Maybe not tomorrow, but at least soon. So yeah, I hope you like it. Leave a like if you did. And if you want to see more, and obviously if you want to see the battery relocation video, hit the subscribe button, and then I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.